world-famous Anthony Zahn from Southern California. Anthony, what's yes, up? Sir. Not me. Not yet. Are you, Anthony, you have had a habit of resting a lot around camp. How's that working out for you? We'll find out in about two weeks. Awesome. Now, Anthony, uh, uh, all kidding aside, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, your disability. I call your disability the shark tooth disease, but I know that's not what it is, so why don't you tell everybody what it is? That's actually not bad. Uh, it's Charcot Marie Tooth Disease, or CMT uh, syndrome, I guess. Um, it's a genetic degenerative peripheral neuropathy, which is really hard to say right after dinner. Um, pretty much any time of day, it's hard to say that. Uh, basically, it means the signal doesn't get from my brain down the nerves to certain muscles. Um, so. I am effectively paralyzed from the knees down. According to the IOC, I've got no zero discernible strength in my feet, ankles, and calves, and in my hands. To me, it just looks like you have skinny hands and skinny legs. That's about it. Awesome. So, Anthony, uh, you've been uh, trying to make this team uh, to go to uh, China or the, to the Paralympic Games several years in a row, and you finally made it. How does that feel? feels uh, incredible. Uh, feels great to... Uh, Finally, quit trying and just do it. Um, and great to go represent my country. Um, hopefully, uh, give all my supporters a little bit back, a little, little payback, show them that uh, it hasn't been for nothing. There's been, uh, you know, everybody talks about the Olympic sacrifice, but it's not just the athlete. It's it's the friends and family that put out the most. I think. Awesome, and you have a very supportive wife, I understand. Exceptionally, exceptionally supportive. And not only are you a now member of the Paralympic cycling team, but you also own a bike shop. I do. Let's hear a little bit about balancing cycling and being an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? Um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's tough. It's, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, working a couple of jobs. Uh, first I go to work number one, ride my bike for a couple hours, and then go to work number two and uh, sell some bikes for several hours every day. Um, yeah, I've got to work six days a week when I'm home in town to be able to take the 80 or 100 days off each year to compete with the Paralympic team. Um, it's, <laughs> it's not easy. Um, it's fun. It's never boring. Uh, it's what I do. Awesome. And uh, so what, what are your expectations in uh, Beijing? You're coming off a of great world championships. Uh, well, I'm not going to Beijing for the food. Uh, well, okay, a bit for the food, but that's after the racing. Uh, just say uh, I hope to do well. Awesome. Well, thanks, Anthony. Have a good time. Thank you, Ron. You too.